scenario sounds familiar. You've got a set budget for a new PC. Through trial and error and many hours of hardware research, you've finally come to the perfect build. One that fits your budget like a glove and offers the high level of performance you're looking for. And then you realize you forgot about the operating system. At this point, you're faced with two options. You could either install a free Linux operating system or make room for a copy of Windows by reworking the math to include some less powerful hardware. We've already made a video where we compare Linux and Windows, so we won't get into that here. The link for that video is in the description if you want to check it out. For now, just know that this video operates on the premise that Windows is better for gaming and that's why you want a copy of it. And now you're faced with a tough question. Should you get Windows 10 Home or Pro? Home is more affordable, which makes it more appealing in this scenario where you need to cut down on hardware power to make room for an operating system. But Pro is... well, it's Pro. It's gotta have loads of cool extra features. And you'd be right. But what are these features? And more importantly, are they worth the extra cost? If these are the questions that have been bugging you, then you've come to the right place, as we'll be covering all of them and more in this video. So without any further ado, let's begin. Now before we get to home and pro designations, let's take a moment to answer the following question. Should you get a 64-bit or a 32-bit version of Windows 10? It's available in both flavors, but let's look at why this is. The terms 64-bit and 32-bit refer to the CPU architecture. The 32-bit version of Windows 10 was made for people with old processors. And when we say old, we mean really old. We're talking double digits here, which translates to like a century old in hardware parts. If your CPU isn't older than 10 years, it's more than likely a 64-bit model. Of course, you don't need to leave this up to mental math and pure chance. You can very easily check whether your CPU and current operating system use the 32-bit or 64-bit architecture by opening the Properties tab by right-clicking on My Computer, This PC, or File Explorer. The only reason you should ever opt for a 32-bit version of Windows is if you have a 32-bit CPU and you don't intend on upgrading your hardware. You could technically decide to upgrade later down the line and then install the 32-bit version of Windows on a PC with a 64-bit CPU, but this isn't really something we'd advise. There are several differences between these types of operating systems, but the most important one is that 32-bit operating systems can only benefit from 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you've watched any of our RAM videos, you'll know that 8 gigabytes of RAM is the bare minimum you'll need for games to run smoothly in this day and age. So a 32-bit operating system can bring a swift end to your gaming ambitions. Now that we're all on the same page regarding the CPU compatibility, let's look at some of the core Windows 10 features that are available to both Windows Home and Windows Pro users. Windows Pro will, of course, have other more advanced features, but the ones we're about to highlight are the core features that define the Windows 10 experience and are available to all users. First up, there's Cortana. This AI virtual assistant is one of the biggest novelties you'll find in Windows 10 if you're just now upgrading from an older version of Windows. Cortana is located next to the start button and among other things she can also be used to launch searches, set reminders, check emails, and adjust settings. Talking to your computer can feel a bit jarring at first if you've never used an AI assistant, but it's nothing if not convenient. Next up we have the virtual desktop feature. This Windows 10 core feature allows users to create multiple desktops that they can then switch between at will. To create a new virtual desktop, just press the Windows and Tab keys at the same time to open the task view. Then click on the plus button at the top of the screen, and additionally you can use Control Windows key D shortcut to make a new virtual desktop on the spot. There's also Windows Hello, a handy biometric security feature that uses either facial recognition or a fingerprint scan to allow users to log in. This feature can also be used for store purchases and with many apps. So if you're big on security and you're getting tired of typing the same old password several times a day, you'll certainly appreciate this feature. 
And speaking of security, Windows Defender, the native Windows 10 antivirus program, is available to home and pro users alike. It receives constant updates in order to combat the latest threats and offers real-time protection options and Microsoft Edge integration. Some security features are only available to pro users, but it's good to see that Microsoft is still giving home users some solid protection. Windows 10 is also the first version of Windows to offer a system-wide dark mode that changes the appearance of everything, including the file explorer, the start menu, taskbar, action center, and so on. And finally, there's the game mode. Allegedly, the game mode feature serves to limit background activity so that more resources may be directed towards the game you're running. It's hard to quantify how much this feature actually helps, but there's no reason not to have it activated while gaming. At the very least, it's a step in the right direction. There's a link to a short guide on how to activate game mode in the description. Other gaming features include the game bar, game DVR, Xbox One controller support, and the Xbox app. Of course, there are more features that home users have access to, but these are the ones we've wanted to highlight as the most critical. So now that we've seen what the base Windows 10 experience looks like, let's take a look at some of the premium features that only pro users have at their disposal. The best feature that comes to mind has got to be the BitLocker. BitLocker is an encryption program that protects your entire hard drive. It makes it so that you have to type in a password before you can boot up the system. So there's no way someone is getting into your files if you're using this. Not even if they manage to steal your computer case and everything in it by shoving it into a bag of holding. What's more, there are two other security features that only pro users have access to. Device Guard and Security Boot. Next up, there's Client Hyper-V. This is a virtualization program that lets you run virtual computers without the need for any third-party support. It's like the virtual desktop feature on steroids. Windows Pro also has a higher RAM ceiling. However, this feature is kind of irrelevant since the home version already supports up to 128GB of RAM. Gaming PCs will, of course, never need this kind of RAM, but what's funny is that most workstations cap out at this point as well. So it's not like you need Windows Pro to accommodate a large volume of RAM if you're building a workstation. We can't even imagine how a PC with 2TB of RAM would look like if we're being honest. Where would you even slot all of those modules? A question for another video, we suppose. Lastly, Windows Pro users have the awesome power to delay Windows updates up to a month. We know Windows updates have become a meme at this point, but they're quite necessary for the Windows ecosystem to flourish, if for no other reason than to improve security. However, they've also been known to cause some issues, so being able to delay updates lets you skip the initial part where everyone is justifiably raging online because the new update messed up all of their settings and join in at the part where the bugs have all been patched. There are many more features that are Windows Pro exclusive, of course, but these are the ones we figured would be the most important for casual users. If you want to check out the comprehensive list of features, we've left a link in the description to a table that has it all, so make sure to check it out. So how does Windows Home stack up against all of this? Well, you might have noticed that none of these features impact gaming in any way. Not unless you plan to run four virtual machines so you can play League of Legends with a team comprising entirely of yourself, instead of being paired up with some random noobs. The added security is nice, but it's nothing that some third-party programs can't replicate if that's what you really need. But honestly, if you've never used a pro version of Windows, you won't really be messing out on anything by opting for Windows 10 Home. When it comes to gaming, it already has everything you could need in the form of Xbox Live Account Sync, the option to stream games from an Xbox to the PC, native Xbox One controller support, and the game mode with its array of cool features like broadcasting and streaming. More importantly, Windows Home is $60 cheaper on the Microsoft Store than Windows Pro, weighing in at $140 and you can easily get it for a bit cheaper. Microsoft quietly raised the prices of Windows 10 Home about a year ago by $20, but some online retailers are still sticking to the old price. And if you buy a physical copy, it'll cost you even less. Lastly, you can always upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro by purchasing the license through the Microsoft Store. This license currently goes for $100, so upgrading the Microsoft Store-bought Windows 10 Home will end up costing you $240.
That's $40 more than if you had simply bought the pro version in the first place. But if you get the home version elsewhere, and especially if you get a physical copy, the math evens out in the end. And that about does it for this video. To summarize, whether you need a Windows Pro or not comes down solely to your needs and preferences. If you're a casual user or you just care about gaming, then you won't find Windows 10 lacking in any way. And besides, for the price difference between the home and the pro versions, you could buy a brand new AAA game that has just come out. However, this isn't to say that the pro version is only for professionals. Many PC enthusiasts and power users prefer the pro version so you don't have to be a business owner or an IT professional to find value in its more sophisticated features. Still, if you don't see yourself making good use of these extra features, then it's best to just get the home version. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you could help us out by liking it and subscribing to our channel. And if you've got friends who could benefit from watching this video, help them out by sharing it either directly or on social media. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to click on the bell icon so that you'll get a notification whenever a new one gets uploaded. We're constantly working on new videos for you guys, so the next one should be right around the corner. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.